Man, there is freaking sugar in everything. And I just got done shopping, walked by the bakery, and it was very scary because my thing is white icing. There's these huge carrot cakes. You know, we're talking two feet long with two inches of white icing. Then there's white icing donuts. And sugar is a serious addiction. And I'm back up to 214 pounds. I was only 170 pounds just last year. And it snuck up on me. You know, I started eating whatever I wanted because we moved back here to Texas and by my fiance's sister, you know, we're living with her sister and she's got stuff all over in the fridge. She's got pop, she's got cookies, she's got everything. And it's really hard, you know, when I first got here, I was like, let's have fun and let's just eat like normal people. We'll watch TV like normal people and, and it'll be fun. And four, four months went by really fast. And now I'm 250, 15 pounds. i am got back pain, knee pain, can barely walk. You know, been sitting around watching TV in a rocker for every day for the last four months. I can barely walk. And I'm fat and I'm scared. I'm scared about sugar. You know, <clears throat> my fiance and I, we've been doing stevia to sweeten everything for the last four years or longer. Stevia is, you know, it tastes like sugar, but it doesn't regi register as sugar in the body. So we're fine with stevia, but right now I'm trying to lose the weight. So I got to do zero carbs because I'm doing keto. I'm doing Atkins style dieting. It's the only thing that's worked for us. We've tried everything else. We've water fasted and then we just eat a bunch of crap after water fasting. You know, we try paleo and we try Mediterranean, we try grapefruit diet, whatever. But the thing that only worked for me was zero carbs. But here's the good thing is you can eat as much, uh, as much steak as you want, as much meat as you want, as much cheese as you want. My diet consists of steak, cheese, water and coffee and heavy cream stevia and my coffee that's it that's all i'm gonna do i'm sick of this sugar is such a crazy addiction even animals are addicted to it you know when we pull out the whipped cream our cat salivates our cat goes crazy when you pull out the whipped cream same with dogs they love treats it's just it's just hardwired into us you know bees love it birds love it they love that nectar. It's all around us. But it's life or death. You know, I can't I can't keep doing this. I'm almost 50 years old. And I'm back up to 215 pounds. I'm not going to doctors. I'm not going to get obese because I'm not going to hospitals. I'm staying home. If I get any kind of sickness, I'm treating it. I'm going to freaking dry fast. I'm going to hydrate, drink about a gallon of water a day for a week, and then I'm going to freaking dry fast if anything happens to me. I'm not doing hospitals, I'm not doing doctors, I'm not doing supplements. People that eat sugar have to go to the doctor. It's your choice. If you want to eat sugar, you're going to have problems later in life. You're going to be visiting, visiting the doctor every single week. Like my fiance is stepdad who just recently died he was only 70 when he died 72 maybe he, he ate what he wanted because he knew his life was short he had a weak heart but he went out fast because he ate what he wanted he had donuts every day he went to red lobster food was his only escape from this reality and I'm starting to fall into that with this stupid lockdown you know I look forward to eating and literally when sugar hits my mouth, I water, my, I salivate, I get excited. It's this huge dopamine rush. But you can only do that for so long, just like any other addiction. It takes you out in the long run. You know, in the short term, it's fun, it's exciting. You get a huge dopamine hit and then, bam, 20 years pass. You're going to the doctor every week and you're, you're almost dead, you're dying, you're overweight, you have all these complications because you wanted to eat what you wanted to eat. 
And man, I never knew that it'd be so hard to lose this weight this time around. It's hard because there's whatever I want in the fridge right there. 10 feet and I'm in the kitchen. I work from home, so 10 feet, I'm in the kitchen. I watch TV, the kitchen's only 10 feet away. So I went went and got uh, meat. I, I got sliced roast beef, I got Havarti dill, I got lettuce wraps, I got mayo, I got blue cheese crumbles, I got ribeyes, top sirloins. I looked at every freaking label. Just last night, I had a slice of ham, and then I looked at the label, and there was a gram of sugar in it. They put sugar in almost everything. There was sugar in the ham. There's sugar in, in practically everything. I don't even have to name them off. It's pretty much everything under the sun has freaking sugar in it. Zero carbs leads to freedom. All right, and if you get backed up, get some colon pills, take some fiber, take some probiotics, but meat, water, coffee, and cheese, blue cheese dressing, you know, jalapenos, olives, look up zero carb treats, there's probably, you know, you can have cheesecake without the crust, you can't do pecan crust, you can't do walnut crust, you can do butter, you can do cream cheese, you can put stevia in the cream cheese, not sugar. Sugar's freaking everywhere, and it's the biggest addiction I've ever had. It's bigger than alcohol, bigger than cigarettes. Caffeine's probably more than the... Caffeine's up there. Every time I quit caffeine, I hate it. I, I only last about two days. Can't stand the headache. But sugar is right up there. It's bigger than porn addiction, cigarettes, alcohol, even everything else. It sucks. I hate sugar. We'll talk to you soon.